Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for the ES Prime Cup. We continue now. I'm LD. He's Lumi. We had some scheduling issues. The admin lost his internet and his phone died, but we figured it out. Fnatic has graciously agreed to play. Don't make that face, Lumi. Uh, and, desp and despite being up quite late. So we're going to jump ourselves right into game number one. It is a best of three between Speed Gaming as well as Fnatic. Winner of this will play Evil Geniuses in the Grand Finals. It was supposed to happen right after this match, but since we're starting a bit late, it probably won't be today, but more information on that later. Five For now, remaining. best of three, Speed Gaming coming right off of a thrashing on the behalf of the Alliance, looking to at least make this Dyer one a close match. Bad. At least it was short, you know? It wasn't painful. It was just like, when you're getting a surgery, one of those surgery that was quick and painless, and it was done. It was an honorable death. Honorable, that's one way to look at it. Yeah. I speak for the draft is well underway, and Speed Gaming going Fnatic's for, like, to me, what's to sort of more like their classic style of draft, where they get multiple mobile split-pushing heroes. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Batrider can definitely be a part of it, but getting the Weaver for Eternal Envy, uh, the Troll not really that mobile in his own right, but just makes these other two heroes push a lot harder. So the one thing they're lacking is any kind of crowd control, any kind of real team-fighting presence, but they're going to rat Dota this out. Against the inventors of Rat Dota. Yeah. You know, everyone Ten talks about Alliance, who's the, the masters of the split push and the ratty play, but it's it Fnatic. was Fnatic who frustrated Virtus Pro and NS in particular so much that he coined the term. And then he adopted it. Or, I guess you could say in that sense NS invented Rat Dota. Yeah. <laughs> At least the name for it. But. I mean, let's go back to the draft, and I got a question for you. What, what does Tro does, what does Tro do for us here? I mean, is it better than a Kunkka, for example? Is it better than a Queen of Pain? I feel like those heroes are a lot more mobile or give you a lot more burst damage. Tro, Tro does give you better split push, but does Weaver and Nature's Get Prophet need help? Maybe not. Yeah. I just feel like... I think they just like the Troll because he wins most matchups mid. Yes. And then it really slows down the enemy team's ability to set up kills and, and pressure the Weaver and Prophet. He's also a very good hero in fighting farm outside of the lane. Yeah. When you want your Prophet Weaver to pick up a ton of farm in the mid game, Troll could just go in the jungle. He's a good mid game ganking hero as well. He's very tanky, so there is that, but I just haven't seen Troll start working lately for speed gaming. It used to be one Ten of their go to heroes. Remaining. They were first pick it a lot, but that's when they were winning with a hero. And now it seems like most teams have kind of figured it out remaining. and at least against the Lions, it was really a non factor. Yeah. I will have He's to see time. and Honestly, I look at Fnatic's draft, and I see mass nuke damage against three fairly squishy heroes. Yes. Sure, Troll's got that high armor. That is not going to help you against the pure Fnatic's damage of a Timbersaw against the additional damage coming from Natural Order. And speaking of Natural Order, I wonder how Fnatic are going to look to run this. I'm guessing it's the support Elder Titan, but that seems to be the flavor of the month, but we'll wait and see. Yeah, I mean, Fnatic's one of those teams that when all the other teams are doing the same strat, building the same items, they're the one that's doing Earth Slaying Earth or offlane Earthshakers and solo mid with Beastmaster going boot to travels. It's all over the place. This so. has to be a first for me. Fnatic, we are now, what is that? Seven Five picks into this draft in. total, and they have not touched the life stealer. Exactly, yeah. Where's that era life stealer? It's like a, I, I guess this game, it's not really that good, but against Troll, Weaver, and Prophet, these heroes are pretty decent at just spreading the map, eluding him, and dealing with him when he does come to fights. Yeah, but, I mean, it is one of their best heroes for many reasons. He's beat his fair share of Weaver and Ten Troll seconds, Warlord and Nature's remaining. Prophet. So, I'm surprised that they're not going to it. Maybe this is your LGD Five China seconds, transitional remaining. phase, trying to, tr you know, play newer heroes and trying things out? Reserve time. I don't know. Shao 8 Weaver, never again. <laughs> never again, rest in pieces. How do you feel Morphling would do here? As the Arrow Morphling? Fanatics yeah. um, generally bad. when they play Morphling, they play dual lane mid with a Wisp. Um, but Dyer obviously that's not the case pick. here. But I feel like Morphling with a shotgun, especially against these heroes, that really can't touch him. Yeah, I mean, if Fnatic wanted, want to, they, I, it's not like Speed Gaming are very good at killing. Yeah. They just don't have stuns or really much lockdown at all. Rubik is pretty nice against Morphling if you steal Morph, and obviously Waveform okay. is good after that. But still, I mean... They could go for it. I feel like, well, Speed Gaming banned Life Stealer, so maybe it would. Morphling wouldn't be maybe. bad here. I mean, like, the standard stuff is always Gyrocopter, and he's still in the pool. Five he definitely outcarries heroes like Weaver and, and Prophet, so. especially when he's got Natural Order on his side. You can also safe lane in Shadow Fiend time. if they're feeling that. Shadow Fiend might be the better choice here, because he's much more of an explosive mid game presence. Yeah, whereas Morphling, I mean, he, he does have his presence, but it's coming from slowly pushing a lane, making sure that you have one person there. 
And Weaver can be that one person to defend against your motion. And I really feel like Speed Gaming just have a fairly weak draft to punish a Shadow Fiend pick. Especially if he gets some protection, if it is Era on it, say in the safe lane. Because it looks like a Honeyquap mid now, and probably a Trixie offlane Timbersaw. Like, I'd say 95%. So. And then support Elder Titan. Yeah, so then that means you get to Trilane your Shadow Fiend. Speed Gaming can't really do much in aggressive Trilane as of yet. They could go Troll Rubik plus one, put the Weaver like mid and then profit safe lane or vice versa and and maybe look to go aggressive but i just i think it's speed gaming are very predictable they'll put saint mid on the troll they'll put eternal envy on the safe lane weaver and bone seven will play the profit and so if you're fanatic you know that you can run a safe lane shadow fiend you can't be punished at all unless they go aggressive and then fanatic just has this mid game death ball yeah the only time i've seen a speed gaming actually going offensive is with marana and like Naga and Bane, things like that. That's so, the one thing I dislike about the way they draft, is I feel like I know what they're going to do yes. very early in the draft. Yeah, and especially when you start out with three core like that. There's just no pick. room for any changing up of the lanes and anything else. So yeah, they, they could, like they can switch these lanes around a bit, because Weaver and Troll can aggressive try lane. Yeah, but, but knowing the players, that's yeah. not going to happen. But it's more just like you know that they just like to run things one way, mm -hmm. and they always stick to it. Okay, so it's going to be Bane and Rubik as the two final draft. Yeah, Fnatic now looking at their last pickup. Is it going to be the Morphling? Is it going to be the Shadow Feet? Is it going to be a Sniper? By the way, uh, Era. Has he been playing Sniper? No, he's got Five that Flint Beastwood remaining. icon from uh, Heroes of New Earth. Okay. Which is a Sniper, basically. Except better. In Heroes of New Earth, uh, the, sh the Shrapnel, it's like an instant nuke. So it, it like hits an area, and it does all the damage... Like, it hits you, and it does all the damage right away. And okay. it slows everyone in the area for the full, like, a certain duration. Not if like if you run out of it, you're still slowed. So it's basically call down without the cast yeah, time. Without like the time for the rocket to come down. It's what? really good. It's an amazing spell. What? Like Sniper was like a top carry pick in Heroes of New Earth. He should be in Dota as well. I don't know. I don't Let's see, see that Flint Beast with era. Come on. Uh, not such a good hero in this game though. Uh, Sniper. Did you see how you I strong me? tried to buff Sniper by the way? How what did he try to do? He tried to increase the range again. That's not the problem with this hero. Obviously, that's a problem. That's I not, don't see the issue. That is not the problem with well, Sniper. What's the problem, LD? Give us the prescription. Give him, like, a useful nuke. Shrapnel takes tower and slows people. It's it's garbage. You can't kill anything with that. You're not e Either that or make him more, like, survivable. Because he's just too easy to kill now. Whether it means more. Not range. when he has more range, right? I mean, come on. That, there's too many good gap closers in Dota. There's... Timber saws, clockworks, you know, profits, life stealer bombs from Batrider. Like every hero is so Five like all the popular heroes. So what he needs is a blink. <laughs> it's like, it's like <laughs> give him a blink. Well, I don't know about that, but something. <laughs> and they'll go okay. They won't go for Morphin. They won't go for Shadow Fiend. They'll go for what most like with a lot of other teams. You would just assume it's an anti mage because you know what a lot of other teams prefer. But Fnatic don't run it that much. They will go for it here. Anti-Mage against a Brubick and Bane? Like, both these heroes are great against Anti-Mage, so I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't know if I like this Like, pick. when Bane is gripping you, what do you use to cancel it? Frostbite? Monovoid? These are not exactly spells that are really good. I mean, yeah, they do cancel at the end of the day, Well, I but think for Fnatic, this is basically saying, we expect Speed Gaming to go defensive. We're going to secure Era really easy farm. He'll get a fast Battle Fury, and then he'll just turbo farm in the jungle off the map. Speed Gaming will never get to see this hero until it's too late. Speed Gaming won't even look for this hero because <laughs> yeah, it's Speed Gaming. They'll just try to. They'll get their triple Midas and and refreshers. I mean, Speed work. Gaming. They should have an image of a turtle upside down because that's really what they are. They're not speedy. They're just turtle gaming. Yeah, I don't know about that. Lumi, I'm a little discombobulated. It's been quite a day, but let's try to settle into this game. This is game one of a best of three. The Alliance Prepare just got done crushing this team. Speed Gaming. They'll be coming up against Fnatic, who, at their best, was one of the stronger Western teams at TI3 right after Navi Alliance. But, well, they've struggled a bit as of late. So we'll see what they can do. Speed Gaming going to be playing the offlane, or no, sorry, not the offlane weaver, the safe lane weaver for EE. He is rushing down to the bottom lane to place his observers, as he is wont to do. Saint Saint on his solo mid troll. Pylai Dyer your support Rubik. AUI 2000, you're farming. Carry Bane. No, hold on, hold on seven, there. Your nature's problem. The entire Fnatic team smoked up and going deep into enemy jungle, trying to place a couple wards. They might find themselves a stray Rubik. In fact, they will fly level of the Nova. It's a long gap closer, man. Rubik's no? got low base move speeds, but so too to CM. They should not have been leading with Elder Titan. They, they should, should be leading that. with Crystal Maiden. Yeah, they... Well, for a bit they were, and then Fly walking very slowly, you know. No tail's like, get out of my way. I got places to go, lady. 
Okay. So, so we'll introduce Fnatic now. Trixie on your offlane timber saw. No tail. Support Elder Titan that puts Hani under the mid queen of pain. Fly. Support Crystal Maiden and Era. Not on Life Stealer. He'll be playing the anti mage. Anti mage just as good. Some I argue. Yeah, I think Speed Gaming have a. I don't know. I, I'm still a bit worried about them. They beat Alliances anti mage the other day. That's true. But I feel like their draft is just so... Sure, you've got a Rubik and a Bane, but there's no damage on these supports for quite a few levels. You know the Bane's farming, so... <laughs> yeah. Which means you're not pressuring the Anti-Mage early, which means Era should just get that free farm early Battle Fury. And I don't know if any amount of Midas's and just efficiency can keep up with a Battle Fury Anti-Mage if he's un left unchecked. Look, when you get a 15-minute catch on Midas... <laughs> it's legit. <laughs> As... As they usually do, Speed Gaming always secure Sing Sing's lane. So they send a support mid from level 1, and this is not the first time. We see it from them every game, whether it's Pylai die on the Sand King, or whether it's AUI on the Bane. They'll drop the Enfeeble, even if it's just one time. Off the bat, Hani, gonna have a rough time. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, Sing Sing missing a couple assets despite his insane base damage, but, you know, he, he'll, he'll catch up. And the AUI just goes straight up into his own Ancients and start pulling here, so... This is a very interesting way to use your Bane, one of your most level dependent hero. Is he just gonna go mid and enfeeble again and go back up top? Like this is this is something. These stacking ancients, they have a they have a troll, which means they can all kill ancient stacks really quickly, I would say. So it, if there's nothing from Fnatic to punish this in the first five, ten minutes, then uh, or it's even more less than that, like the first five minutes, then they could farm these and pull ahead, so it's just, for speed gaming, they're always just thinking about like the most efficient possible way to get ahead in terms of gold and mm -hmm. and just resources off the map. But sometimes it it ends up like they don't put any pressure on their opponents. That's why they're too busy playing with the jungle. Like, this is a PvP, not PvE. Yeah, I, I, watching speed gaming kind of reminds me of like players in World of Warcraft or Diablo yeah. 3 are like, trying to min-max their gear. But, you know, at some point, like you'll be better off as a player if you just, you know... Whoa, learn whoa. how to learn how to play. Whoa, the whoa, game. whoa, 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 whoa! Are you are you suggesting that we might be telling Click them how the to play the game? No, no. I'm just I'm just okay, saying. I'm just that, saying. That, that sometimes there's an. I think they do obsess a bit too much about the efficiency. But I like AUI 2000 putting pressure on this mid lane. Yes. Keeping Hani down whoa. a lot and securing Sing Sing's bottle. If you could drop it, if if you call it dropping in feeble pressuring, I mean. That's all you need. And Queen of Pain still CSing, you know. Although not as well as he usually would be. Yeah, Hani doesn't even have a bottle yet, and he was, he was he's pulled and started with Null Talisman, but Enfeeble completely negates that. So looking at our other lanes, Free Farm Anti-Mage, Free Farm Weaver. Uh, I would take the Anti-Mage getting the Free Farm here, so advantage to Fnatic for that. Yep. Uh, but, well, Hani is losing mid to Sing Sing. 10 and 3 to 8 and 0, not too bad yet. As expected, though. I mean, yeah, that's what should happen. Especially with the backup that Sing Sing has been getting. So. The other heroes fly is jungling his Crystal Maiden, but you'd rather have the Prophet rushing towards the Midas. That no tail still level one, your Rubik already level two, and AUI 2000 getting levels in the off lane now. And Eric can't really do anything about this. Yeah, I mean, hmm. they, they are getting uh, overall, if you look at it, speed gaming are getting more off the map because they know the Crystal Maiden's jungling. If you just look at the level tap, she's level two and she hasn't hit level three yet, and that means you, and, and you could click on one of like, for example, Anti Mage, you know, he's getting aura, so they know that there's no dangerous spell for AUI to get ganked. You know that Elder Titans haven't been really well leveled. He's only level 1, so there's no kill ability in this lane. And that's why AI could pop in here and get CS. Yeah, Era also, with the Bane just camped in his lane, could struggle to miss some last hits. So far, he's been good. He does have a Quelling Blade, which somewhat negates this. Plus, the Monomer will help you against the range creeps. But even if he just misses a few CS, that means Envy maybe gets his Midas out a bit faster. Denied! It's so weird to see a Weaver go Midas every game. I know, right? What ha so bizarre. What has our, our Dota changed to? What's what's happened to my Dota guys? Well, Weird things are about to happen. Sniper is getting more range. That's what's happening to Dota. That's what he needs. Yeah. Uh, okay, if he had a thousand more range, then he'd be legit. <laughs> what do you mean a thousand more range? Like if you just sat at your tier one and you're, like, you're hitting the tier one. Yeah. That would be. That would be okay. I, then if, then sniper would be a good hero. Actually, I mean, if you just put a mid and give him a war in the mid lane, isn't he just obnoxious? Like, can you just harass from his own hill to your hill? <laughs> right? Is that not obnoxious? It's obnoxious, but then you just gank him and he dies. So. I guess. There's Maybe just too many good gap closes. I mean, you too. can't say that about and you can say that about any hero. You could gank that hero and it'll be okay. Yeah, but sniper's easy to gank. 
Look. He's got shit move speed, shit shit armor. One sniper oh, his see armor's okay. Shit HP, no escape spell. Look, when sniper sees you coming, he's gonna hit you, first hit bash, drop a shrapnel and run. And then when you're getting closer, he hits you and first hit bash you again. I can see this coming, Stop man. projecting your bad public experiences onto sniper balance discussion. <laughs> no, man, this this is legit. Oh, meanwhile, on top he's of here... He's skipping his Midas. He's actually going for a Lincoln's. Halt the he's going for the he's kill also here. going for Trixie. Oh, my goodness. He could have got the f kill. I'm very surprised that he didn't go for it. Yeah, he was worried about a rotation. In fact, there was one coming from No-Town. Who's still level one on the Elder Titan. I I do find it weird that they're prioritizing Fly's level progression over that of the Elder Titan. I feel it should be the other Radiance way around. Titan I absolutely agree. I mean, attack. why do you need to prioritize on CM about anything? What does she give you in the mid game? I'm not sure, but he is going to go on mid now. And with the Astral Spirit, and now Napster Order, maybe they can get a kill on Sing Sing. This is a Ooh. nice rotation. I think he's dead. He's got bottle charges. Oh, no. Just short. The reason that Sing Sing uses Whirling Axe is he's afraid of Queen of Pain blinking back in. And if she did, she would have died. So. Oh, Envy already on the move. He wanted to dive the mid lane, but they see him, and they will retreat out. Yeah, and that's that's a very expensive rotation. He's not CSing on the top lane uh, right now. Pilot died, though. is going to get some of that, so not exactly a big deal. Yeah, but he'll get a lot of experience, and we can compare the support levels right now. Four on the Rubik, three on the Bane, and it's at level two Elder Titan. It's They need to catch him up as quickly as possible. Oh, bot lane here. It looks like uh, AI is about to go down. There is Monovoy available. I'm surprised. But he's got boots and that high base move speed. Yeah, and Antimage working with level one Mana Break, so he hit him like once or twice, and AI still retains a bit of his Mana. The level one Mana Void actually just doesn't really do much damage. In fact, they're going to go one more time. He's out of Mana complete. They got him. Yep, that's a Mana Void kill. First blood for Fnatic. Big kill for them. Hani joining the fight as well. Fly will fall to the Nature's Prophet. That gives Bone 7 his Midas. He should be buying it soon. Indeed he will. Fnatic with a roaming raiding party oh, of four heroes. I die. Hani blinking in. There's your Shadow Strike. To start, but Era afraid to commit just yet. Scream comes through. Pilot I lift him up, throwing him back down. <laughs> oh, he gets stunned by the lift. Drop back down. Hani's alive for now. So too is Era. Fnatic are playing with fire. They might all yet live. Era low, but is anyone gonna be able to run him down? The creeps are the only thing chasing him for now. Where's Eternal Envy? He's, He's not busy diving top. He maybe even wants to get to the Santi Mage. Is he gonna try to cut him off before he gets to the side shop? No. I'll let him live. He should buy complete his perseverance right now Radiant in the side shop. And maybe cut him attack. off. They still see him right now. They see Era. Era. Oh, oh my god. Brain sap cast animation. Man, that Bane. That's a 160 brain. It wouldn't have killed him anyway. Need to sleep and then get like one other ally to nuke him and then brain sap him. Dyer's I don't think it would have happened. Hmm. Tough, Lumi. Oh, maybe they're gonna go Trixie. Trixie is gonna get brain sap mid timber chain even. So oh, I didn't. I didn't see the brain sap yeah. coming in, but yeah, just saw the timber chain oh, coming out. Neither did Trixie, and he died. Yeah, I actually had my camera over that and then moved it away right as the kill happened. <laughs> what can you do? Sorry, folks. Midas now up in your nature's profit for speed gaming, and we're eight minutes in, and Era, despite not leading in terms of CS, is your leader in terms of net worth, and, well, it comes back to that first blood and the follow-up kill, making a big difference. I mean, he does have two kill, which is nice, but at the same time, he's on a safe lane, only getting about 40 CS in eight minutes, and... What was he harassing you? A Bane? So I really thought his CS should be a lot better, considering the fact that he's got a Quelling Blade. Yeah, but the Bane was constantly en enfeebling him. It's a level 2 enfeeble. Yeah, That's... I guess so. Look at his damage. Like, he goes down from 84 to 24 damage before Mana Burn, which oh, only there is going to be on range. <laughs> enfeeble. They lift up Trixie, they throw him back, and he drops low. He tries to kill off Eternal Envy, but EE -E jukes away, and Trixie gets picked off. Unfortunate for him. That double damage Rubik doing work, and now Pilot I already level 6. Mm -hmm. You're paying for AUI, already level 5. He's actually leveled on Feeble. He's just dropping it nonstop on the Anti Mage. And Anti Mage, whenever it's on him, he's he's got no base damage at all. Radiance top tower is yeah, he does have Quelling Blade again, so, you know, I said 24. Oh, top lane more. era, TP Zing gets lift up immediately, and I think oh, he's Envy's getting this kill for sure. Envy, he's got a level 4 Sakuchi, walks through, and the stick charges, Radiance won't matter. Almost got off a fr no, frostbite. Was oh, Envy, Envy. He's Jeez. gonna die to the tower, right? Oh, he's. What a genius. Honey, went the wrong way. Oh, oh, shh. Spirit? Oh, sorry, no, that's not the that's not the <laughs> Elder Titan. It's the Timber Saw. Still juking. Honey. Oh, oh scream. He's scream. Scream. Oh, nailed it. Honey had, like, the reaction of Nebula, but still got it off. That was fine. 
I mean, that, that that's came like very quarter, late. That was like a half second at most. No. It wasn't that late. All right, okay, I'll take it back. Reaction Put of that flame throw away, Luke. Re reaction of Dendi, guys. That was a Dendi reaction. I agree. Okay. Tread's now up for your answer. Hey, man, who said I'm flaming? Never like a good player, guys. <laughs> just, just stop. <laughs> okay, I just want to point out that Era missed the last hit on a range creep because of this enfeeble. He's an anti mage with a quelling blade, and he missed the last hit on a range creep. Well, no, 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 no. The quelling blade. No, no, he missed the last hit. Well, I'm still thinking of Dota 1 where Quelling Blade is an orb effect and it does not work with the mana break. It's I don't, I don't not it the case in, here in Dota 2 anymore, right? Are you sure? I, no, I don't think it works with uh, mana break. Yeah. But the point is just like, he it's only a level of mana break. It's 16 damage. Be it's just not much. Yeah. And then you throw in uh, like the plus 10. He was hitting for like, I don't know, 30 damage there. <laughs> it's not really his fault. Just, and Feeble's strong. And Feeble indeed strong. You know what? I, I've seen this happen. I think uh, Flipside Quantic, they offlane the Bane against the Life Stealer, and guess who won? Who won? The, the Bane. Bane. Yeah. Bane is actually a pretty next level laner, 1v1 straight up. Yeah, he's a really annoying 1v1. And uh, there's not many heroes he loses to, just because he always wins in trades because of Brain Set. Yeah. Well, he just passively enfeebles you, and he's not sitting, and you're not. Oh, that but kind they of might find AUI here. In comes. No, never mind. I mean, <laughs> no stomp, no worries. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> right now, Fla or Fnatic's working with such a greedy lineup that just doesn't kill anything. Well, they actually have gotten a lot of kills in spite of that, and they might find AUI here. No, I'm not going to dive yet. For the time being, it's Eternal Envy diving onto Trixie top lane. He could drop the swarm, he will, but Trixie's still fairly tanky. Timber Chain's back, he'll escape. This is one thing I really like about Envy. He's not really going for the kill, but he's just like going in harassing using the time lapse on like, cooldown. Because you have face boot, because you're using Gemini attack and swarm, it's free harass, you get all your mana back as well, so... What a weird game. Envy yeah. actually building boots before, like, the 30-minute mark. Shocking. Well, top lane, looks like Trixie's gonna get ganked. Envy's gonna wait for the creep wave to go one more time, and once they do, Trixie's probably dead here. Yeah, Trixie, you can run, but I don't know if you can hide. In come the axes, he gets lifted up, thrown back down, and chopped a bit. Ooh, Pilot Dice got Chakram. That's a great spell to seal. Yeah, he was level 6 extremely fast. Now hits level 7. Chakram is also very... It's, all of Timber Saw spells are very cheap, which for our intelligence here, like Rubik means, you can spam Radiance those quite a bit. Mm -hmm. is under attack. I think you'd still rather have the Blink in a lot of cases from the Anti-Mage, but you'll take what you can get. And for Era now, is that his Battle Fury? No, just the Broadsword. Still... Despite getting the first Feeble are too strong, man. Yeah, I mean, he got first blood. I don't think he got the tower kill. Eddie got another kill after that. But. Actually, I, I mean, if you look at the clock, right? Normally, when you get 14 minute battle for your Tourette's and Quelling Blade, that's a good anti mage game. Oh, yeah. He's on route. I mean, this game felt like it's all longer. Well, back in the top lane, looks like Envy is going to time last back out. Force multiple spells and a, and a TP. No, he's doing great. It's just, if he wasn't contested by the Bane, he would have had the battle fury, like, right By now, now yeah. yeah. Which is crazy, because yeah. it wouldn't even be a rush, battle fury. But in the end, not not gonna be able to pick it up that soon. But Hani now scouting out two heroes from Speed Gaming. They could set a beautiful trap here with Hani in position. He's a bit low on mana. I don't think he has combo though. Highlight yeah, die. He definitely doesn't. He only he they can only get the one kill on Highlight Die. He's already enfeebled. Shadow Strike to fly. He needs to steal Blink and then Blink away quickly. Goes out the Shockroom instead, trying to run, and now will fall. So keep forward as your anti mage going on to body sing block sing. and sing sing just phase away. Now Hani, not done yet. Leaping forward again. Once this sing sing kill, I think he's gonna get it too. Eternal Envy's not there. Bone Seven's not there. Hani still once more mono void from Era. Where was the team? This anti mage is doing more work in the laning stage than Weaver. That's well, insane. This anti mage is doing more than anybody else on the entire game. Raise <laughs> your own one. Yeah. What a player Eros. is. I what mean, my question is, why the t why would the TB so slow? They they chase from the jungle to the tier one tower mid. Envy's got creeps to deal with, man. These creeps are imposing on his divine t territory. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just well, actually, I'm full of shit. Envy's you know harassing the hell out of Trixie. Trixie's getting levels, but that's it. He's not getting anything else. Envy now he goes to the side shop and then realizes that he can't buy anything there and retreats out. <laughs> Oh no, he's chasing this uh, courier with the energy booster on it. Well, that was yeah. a good effort, but it's not happening. They, they saw it coming with Observer. Pilot died, just stole Blink. Can he do anything with no, it? No, he's still oh, so Monoboy. Mon 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 come on. This is, that, that's error of mistake, right? 
Unless you want to give him Mana Void. I'd rather give him Mana Void than Blink. I don't know. Do you? What not when, you not when your Queen of Pain ults and be like, wait, what's up? Why am I dying so quickly? It could be huge. It's a level 2 Mana Void, too. Yeah, because he's, he's level 11 in 14 minutes. So is Hani. Hani's actually uh, doing quite well. He's 1-0 on 3, mirroring, uh, you know, anti-mage's score. I'm definitely a big Era fanboy. I am too. Yeah, he's my favorite player in Fnatic. Era's a, uh, I I had the hotel room like right next to this. Yeah. One door down to. Every time he saw me, he's like, "Why are you in LD? No support, Fnatic." No. Th that no. No, he was asking you why you didn't support Fnatic. You want to roll the vods? Yeah. Cause back in the uh, roll the vods. Ti Ti uh, group stages. Mm -hmm. Um, before we went to Seattle, all of you guys are doubting. Fnatic. That, that shit was on the VODs. They weren't playing well! And then I said they're gonna come out and they're gonna pwn faceless and the first match they beat was Na'Vi. Radiance top that was like... Was oh, that shit was on the VODs. Oh, game's back by the way, Kawa, yeah. so we might wanna get off the camera shot here. There we go. Phone call's done. Yeah. Kawa just busy writing his biography and macking on all the girls in the chat as well. While he's at it. What girls? Grills. <laughs> Grills? Please, Kawa, please. Now, AOI 2000 in the enemy jungle. He is gonna get caught out here a bit. The Earth Splitter comes through, only hits Sing Sing though. Now the Prophet ult flying through. Monovoid was thrown out immediately by Eric. Queen of Pain ult over the top. No, he did get Era. Monovoid is down. He did just buy his Battle Fury, but Hani in all sorts of trouble in his own right. Needs to run. No Tail is gonna drop two. They just lost three. That was a great, uh, great pause there from Speed Gaming. I'm gonna blame that on the pause. Okay. That, that pause happened like 20 seconds before the team Can played. these guys just play Dota though? <laughs> Why do they have to pause? That? I don't know, that's Every a good game. question. Right, these are professional gamers that... Someone buy these guys new computers, I don't know. I don't know. Just teach them how to mute their phone. It's every game. <laughs> no, not against the Lions. Maybe that's why they lost. Yeah. No, they got a pause within that series. No, it was all Lions pause. Oh no, yeah. <laughs> That's right, Alliance. Yeah. They stole Speed Gaming's tactics. That's why they're winning. They had those tactical. And Bulldogs even. <laughs> yeah. Tactical pause. TI4 champions. It's a little ridiculous. But the good news is, Era did buy his Battle Fury before dying. So, has a Battle Fury now. I guess the issue is Speed Gaming supports had such a good start that they can keep the pressure on him. Mm -hmm. Between Fiend's Grip and Lift. I think they need the grip for a lively kill. I don't think lift will be enough, but we'll see. Speaking of pressure, I, I just want to point out that Envy, although he doesn't seem like it, he's actually doing quite a bit on the top lane. Do you, like, there, on all these small scale engagement, you see that Timbersaw was never in them, and Timbersaw would be pretty big. I, I think he was in one of them. And the reason that he can't really be in those engagement is that Envy's constantly diving him in the tower, and if you don't have somebody in the tower range, he is going to just take your tier two, so. It's a very expensive defense that they're doing against Envy, and it's not really working because you're not killing him. You're not stopping his farm. He He's just slowly and, and whittling away your tier 2 tower. Here comes Fnatic smoked up in their own jungle. They're all following Era around. A mass swarm of pings come out. Everybody walking right near the sentry wards. I don't know if anyone walked over them, but judging by these pings, I think Speed Gaming have spotted them. And Well, we'll see a teleport reaction towards the top lane. Trixie, back to defend, back to deal with the Eternal Envy, has the Lincoln Sphere recipe up. And he's still going to have a very fast Lincolns. See, you don't need to go Midas. You don't? Yeah, I like this. Not only are you going to get your fast Lincolns, your, your phase boost is doing a lot of harass, giving you a ton of farm. And it shuts farm. down the timber saw. Exactly, well. yeah. So I'm not sure what it... Uh, I mean, I, another reason why you don't want to get Midas this game is you, you want to put early game aggression, and Midas doesn't really help you in any of They're that. They're just waiting for Era, and he wants this camp. He wants it bad. But wrapping around this pilot die rips him up in the air. Those are back into a fiend script. I don't know if this will be enough damage though. They need the axes. It's not. He barely lives. Even through the, the wrath comes in. In comes the profit right clicks. Instead going on fly and already with the shadow blade. Bone seven. Oh. Wing chase flies gonna drop. Blinky forward is your Rubik. Snipes him. Arrow forced to retreat. Meanwhile, top lane here. Envy doing more work as we speak. Trixie gonna get forced back after a swarm again. Envy's not looking for a kill. He's just like. Drop a swarm, right click you a couple times, hit your towers a couple times, back off. I think they're in a lot of trouble, Lumi. The graphs are green with me. <laughs> 10k gold. Right now, everything that Fnatic's trying to do is less efficient than what Speed Gaming's do. When they smoke Radiance ganking, they're 4 man, 5 man smoke ganking. Attack. They don't find the kill first of all, and they're not stopping Envy from farming. The split push is coming from Speed Gaming, and now they're going to Roshan. 
Yeah, Roche, this will be an easy Roche. Flats up on Sing Sing. Bone 7 already with the Shadow Blade, as mentioned. And another 900 gold. The top four farmers are three of them are on speed gaming. It's not like these supports are lacking for items either. Yeah, it just goes back to the way that the early game uh, support rotations came from Fnatic. What did the Crystal Maiden do for the early levels? She jungled for a very long time, and then our Elder Titan walked around and was able to do maybe a couple Astro here and there. He's got Nature's Natural Order max, which I think for a support Elder Titan, that's his most spell to have max. But at the same time, his team is really lacking the damage output. They really need Era to start carrying, and maybe Hani to pick up his Hex, but Hani's very far off from his Hex. Yeah, I don't know. It's just, at this point, Eric can't really go farm. And in fact, they were looking for him again. He's playing it pretty defensively, sticking around with his team, but he w needs to be farming right now. While this is happening, Speed Gaming are farming his jungle, they're pushing the bottom, or the, sorry, they, they are uh, shutting Whoa. him down the ancient. Pilot die. Going on Pilot die. They do pick him off. That's the kind of kill they need, because now Eric gets a little space to farm. That was a smoke gang coming out from Speed Gaming. They walked up the hill, got a cancel, walked around to the other side of the hill, and... Got killed. Yeah, and there was a sentry ward just waiting right there as well. The big issue right now is that Shadow Blade gets picked up on Troll. Yeah, it's a double Shadow Blade. And this basically means is if you're gonna shut down Envy by sending three or four people to him, Sing Sing's gonna do this on the bot lane. So, what exactly is Fnatic gonna do? They're not gonna kill either of them unless you send three or four. And if you're sending three or four, even if you get that kill, it's just not worth it because the yeah. other person on the other side is doing the same thing. Yeah, that's true. The other thing is, nice thing with Shadow Blade is if you just Shadow Blade in on the Anti Mage, get lucky with your first hit and bash him. Uh, it gives you enough damage and time that you know Prophet ult comes through. One of the supports gets in range. It does let you set up kills on Era, and Era just normally as an Anti Mage, you can safely split push and free farm. But because their supports had such a good start, and because they're gonna have a very fast sight, the Vice already twenty nine hundred Golden Bone seven, make that three thousand. I mean, they can kill an anti-mage who's visible on the map very easily. Swarm going on Trixie, again being forced back. No. Meanwhile, bottom lane, we do miss a kill on Hani, but easily picked off. Troll ultimate, looks like Fiend's Crypt was used. And now they're going to find... Well, will they find Eternal Envy? He runs through the Ancients out, heads the other way. He, he almost died to the Ancients there. Bone 7 as well, joining the fight, runs right into the Ooh. shock bomb, but he's going to run. Can't go into the tower range. Can't oh, 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 Bone 7, what? seven please. He ends up giving Arrow the kill. Unfortunate. He had nowhere to go. But just stand there. Flip pushing. He takes the tier 2 bottom. I don't know. I think it's still good for Kaifi. Or yeah, for it definitely is. But that, that play was a little bit suspect. And this anti-mage. Well, it, Arrow's just not seeing creeps this game. I mean, he's farming okay, considering, but... Where's Eric gonna farm? He, he got ganked in his own jungle, right? Earlier by a Rubik as well as Bane. Now he survived that gank, but it just shows that there is gonna be a, a ganking squad wherever he goes. Envy's pushing up top, so that's not a lane you can farm in. Mid is the only lane that you can farm, but you get one creep, creep wave and it's pushed out again. If you look at Speed Gaming, they're farming the other half of the jungle as well. Sing Sing and, and AI 2000. Yeah, I think the other main issue is Fnatic just don't have heroes that can easily set up kills. Like, they don't have anyone with a natural disable, mm -hmm. aside from Frostbite. That's it. So they can't even punish speed gaming split push. I think this is where Era needs to just blink into the enemy jungle, maybe even get a smoke and do that, and just stay there, because... Yeah, it his own jungle is not going to be safe. Yeah, it's just... Well, not not that it's un... Well, yeah, it's unsafe. Also, there's no creep in it, because Sing Sing's just going through this jungle nonstop. Yeah, he's up to another 3,000 after the Shadow Blade, still has the Aegis, and will continue to just keep on finding his farm. Top lane, they're trying to stop Era. I mean, or, and the enemy's gonna just get a kill on the ESCM. This is really hard for Fnatic. I don't know how Fnatic can get back into this game, to be honest. Blink to the enemy jungle and pray that there's no pushing coming from Speed Gaming because they generally don't push. Like Fnatic, if they want to turtle this game for 40 more minutes, it's gonna happen for 40 more minutes. Are you minutes. sure about that? Because Sing Sing at the base already, he just took a tier two. Well, you and gotta, he constantly pushing top. You gotta Nova that or something. Oh, Era TP now, right now. It's a double TP reaction. Can anyone stop these? It's Hani who just gets isolated, blinked into two, who casually just blow him to pieces. Sing Sing now, Shadow Blading away. They have no stuns, no lockdown. No way to punish the split push. Alright, Gem gets picked up here on the Elder Titan. Give him a little bit of detection against the multiple Invis hero. But so is Blink Dagger from Rubik, and I think that, uh, at least for the stage of the game is right now, it's going to give SG a little bit more. 
Well, Arrow's gonna get to see creeps now because he's at his base. You get one wave, I guess. But Sing Sing is just pushing here right now. He's got Aegis. He's got Aegis. He wants it to be used. Arrow jumps in and gets gripped. And <laughs> barely lives. It was a profit TPO. Oh my god. That was... I've never seen anything that close, I don't think. That was ridiculous. Okay. He gets his ultimate orb off of that. That was pretty big. Mm -hmm. He's getting out farmed by all three cores. I mean, I think a farmed anti-mage who's ahead can carry this, but... I don't think he's gonna carry this from behind. No, I mean, Envy's gonna pick up his uh, Desolator very soon, and that's when... I don't even know where the Trixie to survive in the lane. So that's when you're, if Trixie's not in the lane, you just keep right-clicking on the base tower. I mean, Desolator is very helpful with that as well. And they can kill Arrow soon too. Once the Fiend's Grip cools down, Sin Sin has a BKB, uh, and they can just run in, grip him, and right-click him to death. And that's the thing is, speed gaming have a lot of physical damage, and generally Anti-Mage is better against magic damage lineups, but... Not that he's bad against physical, but... They can easily burst him if he gets caught. They blink Ooh. forward. I don't think he noticed the Rubik there. Not he sure. didn't notice Pilot died. Now he gets lifted up. Do they get the bash luck they need? They, they do. do. One bash and a kill. That was just one bash. That's all they needed. I mean, AI was there. They could have brain sapped him and that would have been a kill as well. That's scary though. When Troll can basically solo you during one the duration of one bash, you can't leave your base. I mean, again, the, the same thing I've been saying, like a broken record. Gotta go to the enemy jungle. It's not gonna work in his own. Did he get his Manta at least? Nope. Titan didn't even have the gold to buy anything. I feel like they're the nooch the noose has been firmly cinched around their neck and Oh now now it, he can't even go into the enemy jungle. There's a hex on Nature's Prophet and they will show it off on Honey Mid and Honey, yeah. But when there's a hex on Prophet and you have no manta, there's just even if you have manta you get killed. It's game one of a best of three, but right now it just looks like speed gaming in complete command of this game. Fnatic struggling to find any kind of room Radiance for an opening. Yep, the tier 2 is going to fall very soon. I think the Roshan's going to be back up for in a couple of minutes. And that's where Sing Sing and Ko will go inside. And a base, base push will come very soon from uh, Speed Gaming. Yeah, they'll continue to batter down the mid lane. Desolator going to work on the tower. Speed Gaming getting closer and closer Radiance to that game 1 victory. They win one more. And we'll have ourselves a grand final of EG versus Speed Gaming. Fnatic, though, won't be out of it even if they drop this, which... It seems all but a foregone conclusion that they will at this point. Now, and Trixie caught out with the scythe and just melts to the damage. Speed gaming, overrunning Fnatic. And Fnatic, they know their beat. Yep. They call the GG. Well then. They have quick games? Radiance well, yeah, Speed down. Gaming's had four sub 30 minute games today. Three of them, they were on the wrong side, though. That's why they're Speed Gaming. I don't win loser. That's the opposite of yesterday and every other day. Every other day, it's like a 50 minute game out of this team. I mean, the pace of the game is the same. We have like no kills. Yeah, the speed yeah. gaming tempo is like fight very selectively. Turtle gaming, I'm telling you. They need to go Flint Beastwood next game. <laughs> Flint Beastwood? Yeah. TV's off. No TV. They won't. They won't pick Flint Beastwood because it's like got no range. Yeah. Not like the new sniper. Range, but there you go. All right, guys, we're going to take a very quick break, and we'll come back. We'll be live with game two. Speed Gaming need to win one more, and they will move on to play Evil Geniuses in the grand finals of the ES Prime Cup, brought to you by IXDL and NEL. I'm LD. He's Luminous. We'll be right back.